Here I go. Is it? I, I'm on top. Bag check. Respect. I'm on top. Silver voice. No, I, no, 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 no. Let's no. do it again. Stacy, Stacy, this Stacy, this producer. I'm Phil, on producer top. I, I, no. I'm uh, on top. Let's run it. I'm on top. Run it back again. Run it back again. Wow, Stacy. Respect. Bag check. Wow. Wow, Stacy. Try again. I'm on top. Bag check. Respect. I'm on top. Nails did. Hair's done. Oh my God. Yes, here we go. I'm going to freestyle. Yeah, what about it? I'm on top. Yeah, that's good. Um, I think it's a good take. It's a good take. It's a good take. Wow, I guess, I guess this wedding's really stressing you out. Ready, Stace? Ready, Darce? Here we go. It's our big hit. Wins. Sisters, sisters, there were never such devoted sisters. Stacy is the one who's always got my back. Yeah, Darcy's love life, that's a lot to unpack. True. Caring, sharing, every little thing that we are wearing. Custom 11, we've had lots of guy trouble that's well known. I've got a fiance and she's alone. Wow. All kinds of weather, we stick together the same in the rain or sun. We got tight faces, but in tight places we think and we act as one. Take it, Dars. Manifest our twin power. Scooter bapa di bahara. Who does he say? the twins. Appa dappa. Hat the go. Ooh, my boobs shake when I do that. Ooh, ooh, ah. I need to say, I don't know if, which one of us manifested this, but it's like they're just doing the show for us. They are. They're just doing the show for us. <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like if we wrote the script of things that we wanted to imitate, this would be a whole episode of them. Yeah, if you wrote a choose your own adventure of what you want Darcy and Stacy to do in an episode, it would have been this episode for me. Y'all, this is Reality Gaze, Darcy and Stacy. Um, hits episode seven, season season four, episode seven, hits and misses. And I will say, there's not a single miss this season. No. <laughs> it's, this season All is hits. so good, y'all. Unlike the song, I'm on top. <laughs> which is not, which sounds like a uh, uh, some type of late 90s, a German techno thing in a gay bar or in a gay sex club that I got banged in. I did get a chubby when we heard it. <laughs> I did. Miami. Also, you and I have never sang I'm on top. No. <laughs> well, oh, I am often on top. Oh, okay. uh, it's just riding, <laughs> like cowgirl. <laughs> oh, oh, cowgirls. Um, side saddle. Yes. They don't call you side saddle. Side, side saddle, saddle Susan Susan for nothing. Susan. I can't say that. Oh, oh. I, forgive me for my raspy voice like Darcy. I got that rasp. Um, again, my, my immune system has decided it's going to be a butterfly net, and I caught a cold, but I'm on the mend. Thank you for your prayers. No one cares. And your, and your, um, your good vibes. You're fine. Thank you. You're good. It's you guys who keep me going. Oh, God. <laughs> help me. Not help you. Me. Well, this episode gave you life, I'm sure. It did. It did. It was what? It did. Nothing nothing heals nothing heals a sick gay man like two drag queens being hilarious. I just when I was watching this, I also I was trying to think about where is this season going, but I don't really care. No. Um, I I, I just don't. don't. Um, I will say um cuz you know I resubscribed for a month. And there wasn't anything. Um, Georgie did post to his only Shut thing, up. But it was, no, no, don't get excited. It was just a picture of his face. There was not anything in his body or anything like that. I didn't, What's the point? I didn't see an email pop up on my Gmail, and I didn't scream and immediately run to my computer to be disappointed at all. Well, that is that is sad. So, um, anyway, uh, I've, I've, got, you've got, I've got 25 more days for him to make this work. I don't know. I think he's on television now, so I think he's he's gonna. I have my massage clients, and I'm doing real estate. 
sounds God. like it sounds like every like out of work gay actor in New York. Yeah. I'm doing my massage clients and I'm doing real estate. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about doing personal training. <laughs> <laughs> Which those three things, Good for actually, for just real true. real estate and personal training, and you just go back to one and then to the other, and then you become an influencer for a while, and then you kind of do influencing, personal training, and real estate. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're they're making it work, but it is amazing how many uh, gay actor friends of mine got their real estate licenses during pandemic. <laughs> <sighs> They all decided. A um, couple announcements. We are doing, uh, number one, uh, some of you may have heard just a little whisper about what happened dur- uh, to the uh, things that happened due to the cast of Vanderpump Rules. Uh, <laughs> it, may just, it may have just touched, went across your screen quickly. I'm just going to be doing, Maddie knows absolutely nothing about any of these people, and I'm going to be doing a quick Vanderpump Rules explanation during our Below Deck podcast. <laughs> Never heard of them. So, don't even know who's who. I don't watch the show, but I, I'm familiar with the players. Um, okay. it, I, I'll, I think I have an image. Um, I field tested it with someone else who's into the show, and, it, and he said it works. So I will, I'm going to help you with that. Field test meaning the guy you're fucking? Maybe. <laughs> anyway, wow. so I'm I will talk to you. the bedroom a field now. <laughs> Just in the middle of mid pl- mid you know, pummel. No, you know, that's not true. He fucked you in the kitchen, and that's where you talked to him about it. So that's yeah, why it was field sense. testing. You got that new table behind you. You had to break it in somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't fucked on that table yet. I'm a little afraid. Very sturdy, though. So uh, I'll be talking about that on our Below Deck podcast that'll, that drops tomorrow. Right? Below Deck drops on um, Tuesday, yes. Yeah. It'll drop tomorrow. So uh, you'll hear, if, if you are confused and all your friends or you, or you feel you have FOMO because you don't understand what's happening, I'm going to give you a quick, concise way to know what's happening. And then you're like, oh, okay, I cannot care anymore. But for Vanderpump Rules fans... This was a big weekend. <laughs> Ryan Bailey was very, very mostly because he's friends with Tom Sandoval, who was in was involved. And he's probably so, overstimulated. So, well, no, he was pissed because he's friends with everyone. And I should tell you, Adriana Maddox, who was also involved, sat next to me at the Crappies. <laughs> oh. And I talked. So, y'all, this was like four days before it all went down. So, wow, yeah, I was like a major player. I was like Kato Kalen. <laughs> yeah, less gay actually, um, but um, yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, y'all, uh, I oh, I was going to tell everybody. I'll talk about it when it airs. But I actually, because a friend went and saw the t- uh, taping of Carol Burnett's 90th birthday special, it was an incredible night, and I was going to let people know it's going to air on April 27th on NBC. Right. But so you can't talk about it now. I can't Did talk you? about it. Yeah. No, but I'll I, I can talk about more stuff on the air, but you'll see it. So anyway, it was wonderful and just the like second best night of my life. That's all I'll say. What's the first best night of your life? Shania Twain. I thought you were gonna say when you met me. No, that's like <laughs> that's like probably like seventeen. You know what? Top okay. fifteen. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, d- yeah. Hey, look. If someone says that meeting you's in their top twenty, you're doing good. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm gonna say top uh, fifteen. A couple of other things. Um, this is mostly cringe tier. Uh, uh, cringe tier for y'all who are in the cringe tier of our Patreon. This is gonna be a good month and a half for y'all. It really is. Whatever, whatever, whatever y'all spells have y'all been casting. They work. You've got. First of all, you've got the MILF Manor Minute, which people can't get enough of because everyone's sick. Coming um, up on Extreme Sisters this week. Did you watch it already last night? I did watch it. Was it disgusting as normal? There was one part where I clasped my hand over my face, <laughs> and I just had to watch it through like my fingers, like the way I watched arachnophobia. This is unnatural. We need, like, and I have gay sex. <laughs> I know. This is all... Awful. You all need to examine why you watch this show. I oh. I have like a full body heave while I hear you talk about it. Yeah, it's 
Charlene delivers. That's all I'm going to so say. So, y'all, the cringe tier is going to be lit in the next months. Uh, so, two announcements about that. I, and that's, I think this is an announcement for you, and you didn't know this, but I'm, I put it on our uh, schedule. But we are we will be covering Seeking Brother Husband, the kind of sister show of Seeking Sister Wife. Brother show? I didn't know that. We sister talked about show? it. The next thing I have to say, though, you won't know. Oh. Um, but we will be covering that, and that premieres March 27th or 24th. It's the end of March. We got a lot of premieres. Um, but also huge. April 17th, Me, You, and My Ex, season two premiere. Oh. Yes. That is new. Boy. So, yes. That will also be on the Boy, cringe tier. Boy, they're getting raw dog on Y'all, the $8 tier. The cringe tier. <laughs> It's going to be lit. <laughs> and as all of those shows, we're going to give you, y'all, we we let you try before you buy. We give you just the tip, and you'll get the first episode on the free feed so you can listen to decide if you want to I wonder if What's-His-Name and Caroline, the gay guy, are still, who they have a baby now, are still going to be doing I don't know. This. I hope that mom's back. Oh, I hope that mom's back. Oh, that, that mom who stepped, out of a, who stepped out of a Tennessee Williams play. <laughs> Oh, Lisa. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa and and uh and I they're they're enjoyable. Um I I don't know if what's her name and the horrible couple and the funny woman, what was her name? Kate Kay LeVay. I don't think they'll be back. They were definitely a think, one season. Yeah, she wants to try to be, but she's a one I think a one season. Um I don't there's not anything about I'm Googling, there's not anything about cast members yet. Yeah, I I only saw it on Metacritic, which is where I go now to get my premiere dates. I used we to should, go to another place, but now I get it there. We should get it in. They should announce that around April. They'll usually do it. What's upsetting is that, you know, y'all give give a give a fucker a press release. How about just send out a fucking press release to the trades? You don't have to put commercials on it. Just let a let some fuckers know. Let a hoe know. <laughs> Actually, we know the press person at Extreme Sisters, so we could probably just email her. Yeah, but that's extra work. <laughs> I want to read Deadline. Well, that's exciting. Yeah. So, again, oh. cringe tier is going to be banging. So oh, it's like, oh, it's my birthday on, gift. If you're on the if you're on the fence, that's right. Your birthday's really soon. It is in a week. 44. It's a, as Darcy said, it's a powerful number. Powerful manifesting 11. number, the number of protection. <laughs> it is. <sighs> Can we just talk talk about this episode? Yeah. Um, also, Love is Blind is coming at the oh, end yeah, of March four. as well, y'all. Season four, we will be dropping that as well. And remember, if you are on the cringe tier at the eight dollar tier of Reality Gates Plus, you can listen to this show commercial, commercial free. free. Um, everything, I just want to give people a heads up that this week, everything should be on track, but, uh, Jake and I both will be going to, uh, a podcast conference in Las Vegas. So some scheduling stuff could happen. Some things might be delayed. We're flying. So, so, so you know how it is. Anyway, j- we're just letting you know, um, our social media manager, Caitlin's going to be there. She's 25 years old and never been to Vegas. <laughs> we, we might be having we to go. We might lose her. We might lose her. Uh, we're she's coming. So. From- Canada, if, where it's just cold. She's probably going to be topless and just drunk the entire time. If you see us put on an ad for another social media person, <laughs> say a prayer for Caitlin. <laughs> say a prayer for Say Kate. a rosary. That means she's buried somewhere uh, <laughs> in the in desert. desert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she crossed a mob boss. <laughs> yep. Wrongly. What nuts? The hangover didn't end up as happy. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she got no. eaten by that tiger. She got eaten by that tiger. Um... I think let's just do – are we ready to dig in? Let's do it. Darce is doing yoga, y'all. and <laughs> I was impressed she could do a handstand. I don't know if I could do a handstand like this. I've had someone help me with it when I've done yoga, and I could I hold it. Didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and there was no sexual things involved in it. But That's um, great. Afterwards, we did. Okay. But – but she was doing it, and then when she starts to fall, she does that prehistoric bird scream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but so I was, I was happy for her. So she's um, 
anyway, y'all, she she's doing her. She's, she's standing out there, kind of manifest. She's going. I'm, she's pissed off. Lauren wants happiness to tell and me, love. Happiness and love. I have other things to worry about than that Georgie and his big big dick. So we move into the studio, which Eight studios. Oh, uh, Phil, the producer. This is the guy who recorded their smash hit, Always in My Heart, dedicated to their brother Michael. Um, this isn't anywhere I can find. Uh, oh, no, on the I internet. found it. Oh, yeah, it's oh, right. I found it. Shut up. I'll send it to you. Please. The song is okay. It's definitely before they started using auto tune. So you could actually <laughs> hear more of their voices. I, um, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Also, the music video is just like. Pictures that Darcy and Stacy took of one another on their Blackberry Pearl, and they just put it in a music <laughs> video because they're all like pixelated and <laughs> it's very of the time. God bless. But the sentiment is, and the, the sentiment and the words are very sweet. Poodle, I wanted to ask you. So you're a, you write music, and I do. Uh, um, and sometimes it's even played in venues. Sometimes it's played in uh, strip bars. But either way, <laughs> you've written music. I have. And, and when you go to write movie music, do you, when you go to the recording studio. Write it on a legal pad right there? Yeah. Do you just write it <laughs> right there? Just write there. I don't there. think how, this is how Rumors, the Rumors album was written. Um, I doubt this was in the studio on legal pads. And as they said, yeah, I don't think this is how Fleetwood Mac uh, Stevie mm. Nicks didn't go, um, we just say, we just say things and it just <laughs> comes to us. <laughs> no. I think she did a bunch of heroin and took a bath and uh, almost passed out and then wrote the song Dreams. <laughs> and, but Probably. that was in a second location. Second and location. I mean, Dolly Parton says that she'll write songs that just come to her, but it's different. You, Usually you don't write random phrases on a pad. Um, but I don't I think the Silva twins are writing in a different style. The, this this isn't this isn't they're not trying to come up with exact rhymes. Um okay. well, you know fact, what I appreciate, I think it's very in the moment. <laughs> sure. Present. Sure. What well, I don't know if we can compare that type what they're doing to normal songwriting because they're just kind of saying words that should be hashtags. Empowered. Um, strong. And at one point, Stacy just says, <laughs> we're going to go back. I'm, I'm jumping ahead just a little bit. We did jump ahead. I forgot. She, they she they just, got into a goes, fight, y'all. They got beautiful. into a beautiful. Feeling fierce. Rising above. Respect. We feel our songs. We talk it out. Empowerment. Head to the top. Like, it's just their hashtag list. Oh, I've got... Goosebumps. I got goosebumps. So goosebumps. it kind of sounds like they're trying to write Lizzo's good as hell, <laughs> but failing. Mm -hmm. um, so they, y'all, Stacy's in there meeting Phil and, uh, and Darcy walks in and Stacy's thanks the, just, thanks for the heads up about Florian. Stacy's so excited. She's like, Dars, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and she's like, thanks for the heads up Florian. And Stacy's like, yeah, can we not talk about this? Uh, don't want to ruin, don't want to ruin the vibe. This stops and, me. This stops me. It's halting. And at one point, the <sighs> camera just keeps focusing on Phil because he's thinking, this studio is expensive. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he's getting he's getting paid whatever. And then... Y'all, I can't tell you. I'm sorry. I can't tell you how many times I've been in the studio as a musician when someone just airs their personal problems and everyone's just sitting there looking, looking at them. And you're like, I'm being paid. And you're Let's just going, do this. This is expensive. Yes. And then in a, in a twist of genius, <clears throat> Phil says, you know what? Put it in the music. Put it in the music, yeah, girls. Say, blow it off. Let's like, blow take it, it in the studio. Take it in the studio. Take it in the studio. You and got Darcy, the Brazilian energy. You need to take it in the studio. <laughs> and Darcy's like, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Ooh, I'm getting chills all over. Chills all over. So they proceed to play these tracks, like I said before, like you would hear in 1997 in a Berlin gay sex club yeah. with like people just like it, in with like black lights and just getting Phil, banged. Do you think Phil wrote these on GarageBand? No, no, no. He found them. 
Oh. It, they're like royalty free, some shit. Oh, I, okay. I just, or he may have made them in the 15 minutes before they arrived. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're, they're so generic. <laughs> Anyone who actually produces hear, hearing this, and they were also extremely dated. That's why I keep calling it 1998. <laughs> It, it but that's when they were kind of popular, y'all. So, yeah. Ugh. Feeling beautiful, feeling fierce. So that's mm. when they to write the lyrics. And I kept writing, this is too good. This is too good. <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing, I can't believe I'm seeing the Silva Twins process here. It's amazing. They're, uh, they're, they're writing their magnum opus. Um, head to the top. And Darcy. Darcy starts, Darcy goes first and they, they have their little confessional moment, the talking head moment. Uh, they said, you know, our voices are unique. Uh, no, you can't handle this. Uh, these are voices you have not heard before. And Darcy's got that. I got that like high, high sound, high silky sound. I got that rasp. I, got that rasp. I would rasp. never call Stacy's voice high and silky. No, no, <laughs> no. They both so, have a rasp. Um, so, the song is "I'm on top, hair's done, N- hair done, nails did." Be- I can't stop. Best I'm line on top. is they feel stop Stacy and Darcy's like she said hairs, not hair done. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all, Stacy is just Stacy has zero rhythm. She can't even hear like like y'all. Darcy was pretty good. I she was. I can't. I don't want to say they have zero talent because I think that's unfair. I think they are extremely why? talented in some ways. No, why? Why? Because Phil did. <laughs> Phil literally says no, he was musically, like, mu- I don't think they're really cut out to be musicians. I'm oh, trying to but, say that in the nicest way possible. Phil basically said, you know, they they've got the desire. Do they have the vocal talent? And eh, who cares? That's why we got auto tune. That's what auto tune is for. Phil is a producer of. Of the 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 twenty twenties, so he gets it. Um, and Stacy's basically singing "Bag Check," which I don't <laughs> respect. I don't know where "Bag Check" is. That a luxurious thing to get your bag checked? Um, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I guess so. I mean, it costs money now. They don't just check it for free. I guess. Uh, but Phil does say this is going to take an act of God. And and Darcy is saying, being here, it's really affecting my headspace. It's it's going to be affect my date, date with Cicero. <laughs> <sighs> oh Lord, Georgie being here, I know that was what she was talking. Not about. even her date. She said my future with Cicero. She wasn't oh, even thinking right? about a date. She said future. She took it even further. Speaking of Georgie and Florian, um, I am afraid to water y'all. <laughs> Georgie and Florian are going jet skiing, and it's just again. I can swim. But I'm not afraid. What? I, Flo, Florian, I used to be lifeguard. I'll help you. Oh. I watched, I watched Baywatch in Albania. It's very popular show. You know what? Let's just go <laughs> ahead and do it now. Okay. I don't even want to get into it even more, y'all. <clears throat> Presenting, I think, I don't know if this is our first one, but a it, it, but, uh, reality gaze, Georgie and Florian Theater. Very kind of Balkan. Yes. <laughs> reminiscent. Yes. Like the Castlevania theme. Yes. Yes. Uh, action. Don't worry, Florian. Don't worry. I've got you. Get on, get on the water. Get you on it. Get on it. I, I don't have the afraid. Uh, Come on, so- Okay. Ooh, this fun. I enjoy. Yeah, okay. I, I I want to talk to you about Darcy. Oh, she she's mad. I what? I want to I want to make everything okay. What? Have you heard from her? Have she's you heard from her? She's dating this guy. She's dating this rich guy. She's the Citro. Citro. The nice car. Nice but, car. You know, he like she's like hanging out with famous people. Night scars don't hurt me because I have a huge fucking dick. Huge. No, you mean you have huge heart. That's what you mean. No, I mean dick, but sure. Heart too. So maybe you maybe be trying to be friends. You try 
Stephanie. No, I tell her I love her, Florian. Hi, my Georgie. If she doesn't like, she doesn't have feelings for me, it will heartbreak me. Heartbreak. I'll no. tell her I love her. Oh, this no good for my plan. <laughs> As long as Darcy show up and Georgie play Barul, we're cool. I'm not afraid. <laughs> and sing. I know the fraid. I know the fraid. That's what I'm going to say when I'm, <clears throat> when I'm, like next time I'm staring down the barrel of a 10 inch dick. I know the fraid. <laughs> uh, when you suck a big no, cock, don't. keep your throat <laughs> don't ruin that song. open. Wow. Wow. So good. So no. good. We're and, there's, and there's tears just trying to stone your eyes. I won't ruin it anymore. I've been there. I've been there, and that's why I'm here. <clears throat> um, um, so the next, uh, all right, Darcy's you know, getting ready you know for what? her date. Oh, Before we do yeah. that, we should take a quick break. Good call. So I'm going on my date with Cicero, and he apologized profusely for canceling. <laughs> and I'd say Darcy looks really cute. She's in this all white outfit, but it's like. The, it's Darcy, but it is more subdued. It is, and it's not not complete boobalicious. It's yeah. not complete boobalicious. It's not. She looks really good. Shine like a diamond. Picks her up in a yellow Lambo, uh, and he's wearing just t-shirt and pants <laughs> like rich people do. <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to tell because I haven't been to Miami ever, actually. Um, and I know that, like, I feel like if you live in Miami, come at me, come at us, Miami sissies. Um, is it hard to tell if someone's just kind of rich or and or affluent and or a big douchebag? Because I just feel like it's so, like yeah. that is part of Miami. Like you just think of like the fancy cars and like the lifestyle. And but here, like in LA, somebody you go, you would just go, you'd roll your eyes and go, oh, what a yeah. just. But no, a guy cool. dressed like him. If he wasn't in a yellow Lambo, I'm like, oh, he's rich. Because he wasn't dressed pretend. He was just yeah. kind of very casual. I think he's that's, loaded, that's what y'all. that's how rich people dress. Yeah, y'all. Darcy hit the money spot. She don't blow this, Darcy. Yeah, cut to she's gonna blow this. She's gonna blow it. Um, how do you blow it usually, Jake? How do you blow it usually on a date? How do I blow it? No, 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 oh. no, no. How does uh, an existential of what is one way to kind of blow things on your date? Not a dick, but emotionally blow it. You mean me screw it up? Yeah. Or yeah, just anyone. What's a what's one cell face cell or fail proof way to sabotaging or to to blow a date? a date with me or it's something that I would do? I'm 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 unclear. Um, I just meant for any sissies that are dating right now, maybe oh. one advice. It's um, not about you. I I know. Okay, got, got it. Uh, have an emotional breakdown on your first date. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, y'all, this is ma- this makes people run for the hills. Oh. Yeah. It makes me run for the hills. And I'm codependent. Yeah. I I I wanted to run from my television when I was watching. It That's did, how uncomfortable it, it made me. It made me kind of like like I, I sat up and like pulled my legs up like there was something on my floor and I just went, no, 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 Darcy, no. Yeah, I wrote down, no, 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 don't do this. <clears throat> um, it's like Katya when she's with Trixie and Katya watching uh, Andrew on Love is Blind put the eye drops in his eyes and Katya goes, no, 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 this is not happening. <laughs> and Trixie's dying. You're so good. Um. Oh. They and, should, I hope they watch the next one. Of course they will. Um, so, it, but before all that, it goes, it goes well. Cicero's like, I like your energy. Or I like your cute. energy. You, and uh, you have said, a different beauty. You have your own style. And they're having drinks. The problem is Darcy was drinking. Did you see how many drinks yeah. they had? She gets messy so quickly. Um, she does. And she's like, she's, he, did you hear him call out lying about her age? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, don't lie. Own it. Well, I'm 47, but I feel like I'm 27. Um, y'all, stop. 
I, I'm I'm the last person to say <laughs> own your age. I was going to say, but, but you need to look in the mirror. But I also won't say I feel like I'm 27 uh, because even when I was 27, I didn't feel like I was 27. <laughs> well, I think there's some, especially as you get, like I, like my mother lost weight and she says, I feel like I'm, well, she doesn't say 27, but my mom says, you know, like, I feel like I'm 50 years old again. Right. And so it's, that's nice hearing. Hers is, comes out of desperation though. Yeah. Hers yeah, is, my mom doesn't want to be thought of as 50 years old. Darcy wants to be thought of as 27. Although my she mom was, did suggest that maybe if she was single, she should go on Milf Manor. No. Yeah. I shut that down real uh, quick. But I feel like I thought the best years of my life. <laughs> I lowered the standards. Maybe my self esteem was so low. And he goes, no, 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 no. And he basically mentions, uh, you know what? The babysitter needs to go. So I got to go talk to my daughters. But and he says, can we do this again? Yeah. And with and, meeting the daughters. Okay. This is too yo, soon. Red flag. Red I, flag. Can you imagine Darcy trying to be a stop stepmom and just talking with teenage girls? No, please don't do this to Darcy. No, she's not was, ready for this. This was like when did I ever tell you this story of when oh, no. I went out with this guy for a while who had a kid, and he's like, "Would you mind like he, he wanted to come to a show that I was doing?" And he's like, "Do you mind if my daughter comes?" And I'm like. I don't want, I didn't say this, but I don't want to meet your daughter. <laughs> Cause she was like 11. And I was like, Oh yeah. Didn't you tell me y'all tried to act like you weren't dating the year 11 year old. She totally was like, they're totally fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. like, this is my daughter. He's like, this is my friend. And I was like, if you only knew what your father and I have been doing. <laughs> That kind of made it harder for you, didn't it? That they you're just behind the kids' back. Bit. Yeah. And then I'm like, maybe we just go in her room and do it in her bed. And then I said, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. Y'all, I'm, I'm the devil in me. The devil <laughs> makes me do things. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. It's not a good. It's I just want to do things that are just like. Like just crazy. Literally, he is "Let's Be Bad" from Smash. <laughs> that they also used in, in oh, in some like it hot, <laughs> yeah. Like it hot. yeah. Okay. Oh, um. Anyway, so the so the girls might come on the next day, which I think is a terrible idea. Terrible. Um. And Dodge's like, hope me being emotional didn't didn't make him run away. Apparently not. Um. Anika and Aspen are clothes trading. Um, Y'all, I told they're, Jake. They're comedians in their own right. They're com the, the little draglings are learning. We could have almost, we even just, we talked about, do we do a theater with Anika and Aspen? Because they were so good. We're not. Really funny. But they are so, what's so funny is, is so they're, they're they're doing clothes and she's just Aniko's deciding what to take college and she's like oh mom's calling and Darcy knows like my gorgeous girls I miss you are you prepared and she's telling it's that thing that all children go go through when your parent calls you and just goes through the litany of all the things they're doing in their oh, life I hate this and yeah yeah I mean. You get this a lot from mother. I, my yeah. mom does this a little, but you get a lot of this from Mother Poodle. She just calls you and tells you basically what she, yeah, what Sunday was what like a forty minute everything. phone call. What's she up to it's now? Long. Oh God, what isn't she up to? <laughs> long phone call. Long meandering phone call. What did she was, start? There was with? an Aunt Jane. There was an Aunt Jane say, tell you section in there. Jaybird. There was a there was a section of her going to uh, Burke's outlet. Oh, there was there was a there was some talk about price changes at the local Ingalls. And one of the managers who used to help her is not there anymore. So she can't go to the other other woman because the other woman doesn't take her seriously. <laughs> so and she doesn't even know my name. <laughs> that goes she, a long way with my mother. She will. She will know her name. Yeah, unfortunately, she's going to know her name. It's going to be, it's not like Cheers either. 
<laughs> it's like the bad side. <laughs> your mom isn't like, like Norm. Negative. People don't walk in and go, Mother Poodle. They go, and scatter. <laughs> like when Carla walked in angry. Mother Poodle. <laughs> Everyone goes, <laughs> like they Like they're turning the lights and all the roaches run. Uh, but Pretty so much. She, no, she's she's okay. She's um, she's uh, just been taking care of the my niece and nephews a lot, and it's weighing on her. And she's just like, I guess I'm just a babysitting service. <laughs> she's not talking about how she's not insinuating that your her daughter in law failed as a mother at all, is she? No, not really. I th- th- I stopped I stopped even entertaining talking about it. I just hope she moves on. That's all you can do. Well, yeah. Annika, so Darcy is talking to them, and she's like, we got the deal with Johnny, and they're like, great. And then- We wrote so a new she, song. She said, we got a new song for the launch party. And at Wanna the same it? time, the girls go, oh. Oh. <laughs> they go, oh. <laughs> and Darcy <laughs> it was, starts it singing funny. it. Y'all, if you're not watching this show- She's like, she tells, she's like, I'm on top. And like the speakers of her flow, phone blow out. <laughs> blow out. And then she kind of like, at the end, like Darcy does a button and leans really close to the camera and goes, on top. And it, she turns her face and she looks like, it, like she contorts to a cartoon character. And the girl's face is watching their mother. And they're, and Annika kind of rubs her eye and Darcy says, are you crying because it's so good? And she's like, um, yeah. And d- the, do you hear Darcy goes, oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> yeah. <she's- laughs> Y'all, n- you can't script any of this. That's it's- the thing. I-, I would. And yeah, maybe these things are storyboarded, but her throwing in I'm out of breath. That's just you oh. can't teach that. You can't script it. They're reality stars. Um, and the girls, what I love is that the girls immediately were like. Aspen says, Mom, two words, auto-tune, Mom, auto-tune. And Aspen says, so my mom, she tries, but my mom is toned down. <laughs> I love her. Her energy's great, but yeah. It's a manifestation She's- song. <laughs> and then Aspen goes, anyway, so let's, and they completely change the subject. And they talk about Georgie and the Cicero date. And the next scene, y'all, we're meeting Michelle you know, she got back. She she, uh, she shouted us out on Instagram. Michelle did? Yes, I responded. Oh, what did she say? Thank you. Love you guys. Well, it doesn't look like it's good for her next week. I know. Darcy, I think Darcy's firing her. I, I, I thought it, I was wondering when it was going to happen. Darcy I like just, Michelle. Me too. I'm, I might hire her if I lived in Miami, but I'm scared of what she would say to me. I think she might be a little out of your price range too. Probably. Yeah, yeah. I think I know what she would say to you. You should listen to your co-host. Yeah, I don't think she's going to say that. (laughs) Don't think so. So anyway, they're talking about Cicero, and uh, he's sharing the feedback. And Michelle did really well because Darcy starts to bring up like. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm already opened up too much. Darcy tries to get in the negative space. And Michelle really says, what? And she knows Darcy is comparing to Georgie. And so she's, <sighs> she says, what does Cicero bring to the table that Georgie doesn't? And Darcy, that kind of is good. Darcy goes, well, but she get, but she's still worried. And she's the, asking good questions. And Michelle says that he's very smitten with her. And he so, uses a word, Spanish word. And Darcy's like, what? Enchilada. He's enchilada, enchilada with me. Enchilada, yeah. <laughs> And he would like to continue to see her. So this is why I'll be interested to see how he ghosts her. Because if he's very smitten with her and he's telling Michelle, like if he wasn't into her, he would tell Michelle, yeah, that's it. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't, gonna move on. Some guys do that though. They're they're just that shitty. They can't be bad guys. A lot of guys, they don't want to be the bad guy. They don't break up with somebody and then they have sex with them and then they take their credit card and then they leave in the middle of the night. And the guy goes, where did that six weeks of my life go? I'm not familiar with any of that. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Not familiar. Um, Besides, they gave me the credit card. Yeah. So it's just out there. Of course, they they wanted me to use it. 
just because y'all were playing, um, just because y'all were playing Ross, dress for less, <laughs> fuck for less, and he was putting a card in your asshole and it was out, sitting, it was that, sitting in his wallet in a drawer. <laughs> yeah. It was right there. It was underneath several pairs of pants. It was right there for the taking. Right there. He wanted me to have it. So, y'all, they are... Y'all, if you're going to hook up, hide your wallet. Hide your wallet. It's hide good, your it's, wallet. It's a, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> there, I've had some hookups where I have put my wallet away. <laughs> yeah, I always do. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but... Yeah, those those three a.m. grinder hookups are when you hide that wallet, y'all. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. So uh, we are Darcy is again. They're giving Darcy a menial task, which I would pay money to watch a show of Darcy um, put together, hang up a hummingbird feeder. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put together an IKEA bookshelf. Oh. Which, one, no, oh okay, my gosh! This is a some someone from some someone from production went and got this because there's no way Darcy ordered this. I think someone got it. She has. She's putting together this bookshelf. She's in her apartment, oh. and let's, let's call Florian. She, he knows she how to needs do some this. help. Yeah. So Flo is going to come. You know what? I think this is better. <laughs> this, is our, this is like our second theater so far. It's fine. I think we usually do two for these episodes. I yeah. think this is better as a Darcy and and. Darcy Stacey and Flo Theater. You're big. Too big. And action. Thanks for coming over, Flo. Ooh. Thanks for coming over to help me put my... I'm, I'm putting a bookshelf together. Book? I never see you read no book or nothing. Yeah, it's been a while. You had no book in your life. Been a while, but just help me put it together. Can put you some read? Things on. Just putting some things on it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so so what you might think about date? You think you date Cicero? Uh yeah, you know, it's going well. It's just kind of like, you know, it's it's hard to have this like positive, you know, strong. He take you where? He take you where? To me to a nice restaurant. He had a Lam- oh. Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Yes. It's just so I'm he trying to money. like money. Trying to he, like he uh, money make maybe money make Darcy shut mouth? Money make you shut mouth? Uh, no, I'm just saying that I'm I'm trying to have a higher vibration. It's just kind of difficult knowing that, you know, you're bringing Georgie around. Georgie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? Yeah, I think I think he, I think Georgie is manipulating you. You, you know think what? Manip- it's stupid. I you know what? I know when people manipulate to me. Are you sure? I'm yeah. Sure. I, I think I do this to- from heart. People change. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't think he has. I just don't think you're getting it. Well, listen. I don't have anybody. What? I have no parent, no for visa. I have no one. It's going to be good. Jersey, fine. Would you do that for me, sister? I don't have anyone either. <laughs> and see. see. I will say, Florian... Florida is showing out this season. He got those new this, teeth and new confidence. This is his best season yet. He's, oh, yeah. He has shown like a diamond in several seasons. But yes. he is showing up and showing out in every scene he's in. He's got a new confidence. You're right. It's those chompers. It's it, those brilliant white they, chompers. <laughs> they put showmanship in those. Um, <laughs> and... Th- I will say, you know, because Darcy is a sweet, is a, Darcy is a, Stacy is not, but Darcy is what? Stacy is not sweet. Well, no, but I was going to say is what we say, Darcy is a tender hearted person. She is. And she's she's tender hearted. Tender hearted. That's what they said about me. Yeah, that's what they said about me. They were wrong. They were wrong. (laughs) They were real, real wrong about you. And, um, but she's like, okay, she's like, all right, I'm going to try to do this because I feel bad. She's like, I feel bad, but I want to stay far away. So tonight is a meeting with Georgie, y'all. And they show up and or Georgie shows, well, Stacy and Florian show up and then Georgie shows up and Stacy, you know, they greet him. Um, and Stacy's like, I don't know if Darcy's coming. 
and Georgie's in this like shirt that's so wide open with this like long leg wide stance. And both Florian and Georgie look like Euro trash with like the knees out, just like you would see at like a terrible gross bar in like 2010. <laughs> you would have had sex with them. I would have. I would both have of them. I still would now. Would you? This is a good. Would you get fucked by Florian? Hmm. Think about his body. It may be too meta for me. Uh, I think I don't know. I I don't think I would. I I think weirdly I have a thing for vampires, but uh, there's something what if he up- what if he bit you with the new teeth? Hmm. You might have something there. I mean, I just feel like his going uh, 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 might turn me off a little bit. Do you think he has a nice dick? No. It's okay. It's perfectly okay. It's not Georgie. I mean, he is from the Dick Riviera. Yeah. It's it's fine. It's fine. Fine. What it if it was, was fine? What if it was a glory host situation and he would be quiet because he had a ball gag in his mouth? Even so. Okay. Even so. I, I just yeah. want that's your favorite predicament too so if you don't yeah. want to fuck him in that and you're it's in, strange yeah you don't want to fuck him in your neverland and you don't want to i fuck will him. not fuck you through a wall i will not fuck you in a hall <laughs> <laughs> so i will not fuck oh. you at all dr dr poodles dr seuss's yeah <laughs> so yeah. y'all Dars comes in she's She's Green just, balls and ham. She, <laughs> there you go. There you she go. is stepping high like a Clydesdale. She is st- strutting in there. She very looks, proud. She looks good, y'all. <clears throat> but she kind of saunters in, and she shows up. And Stacy says, "Wow, look at you! You're shot." You know what? <laughs> it's free. I don't know. I don't free. know how we're gonna do this, but we're gonna do a Darcy and Stacy f- theater. With four people. Poodle's going to be playing Florian and Stacy, and I'll be playing Darcy and Georgie. Here I don't we go. Know. Here we go. Yeah. It's like, this is like a, this is like a, like a Nicole Kidman thing. We're just, it's that many roles. Have you, speaking of Katya and Trixie, have you seen the Katya do Nicole Kidman? Where she yes, goes to the it's AMC? genius. <laughs> you know what I have to say though? What is happening now when I've gone to the theater, at least maybe because it's LA. People laugh. Everyone's laughing, but also they're quoting it back to her. The shut, lines back to her. I know. Same thing. I'm like, shut up. And they're Just like, let, I kind of like it because everybody's like, we love movies. I I wish that people. It was, I like it. I think her outfit looks it great. Was, it was from a sincerity point um, during the pandemic. And was the line a little bit syrupy? Yeah. But at that moment, we all kind of needed it. I don't know. Maybe we feel it closer just because we've had so many friends that were just out of work when that happened. Yeah. So it it was me. The first time I saw it, I got tears in my eyes. Not just friends, the whole industry that that makes our town work. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right. And action. Darce, good to see you. Shine bright like a diamond. Thanks, sis. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to sit down and not say anything. Hell! Yeah. Darcy. Hello, Darcy. Dude, it's me. Yeah, I know. I know it is, Georgie. I know. You have short hair now. You like short hair. Yeah, yeah. Looks fine. Looks good. Looks fine. It looks good. Yeah. How is everything, Darcy? How is everything's good? It's great. Couldn't be better. Great. Good. Great. Good, great, good, great, great, uh, 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 great. It's great. It's great. She's doing great. Doing great. Doing great. How are you? How are you? Building my massage business and uh, really doing good, you know. Do I told you just to change? <laughs> what say that again, Florian? I tell you, just to change. Thank you. Yeah, it would have been nice to see that. It would have been nice to see that. I feel like you're bragging in my face. Bragging in my face, but whatever. 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 You know, you never took action. We were together for two years, but sure. Who are you dating now? Who? 
Florian, why'd you do that, Florian? You told him it's you told him Darcy's business. Why do you do that? Wow. Wow. I wow. you know they always asked me. He asked me everything about you. I breathe. Wow, huge. Florian. Wow. Wow, Florian. Wow. <laughs> she did say wow a lot. Wow. Um I can't believe you do that to Darcy. Here, Darcy, I bring you, I bring you diamonds. Diamond. <laughs> what? I, I did. <laughs> Florian, Believe this me. is all your fault. This is all your fault, Believe Florian. Oh my God! You know this what? is I, not my fault. I appreciate it, but I can't accept it. I can't accept it. My only fault is that I trust him. I care about you, Darcy. You're dating someone else and it's hurting me. I can't behave myself. You're beautiful and shining. It's hard, hard for me. Don't you dare try to come between me and my family. Goodbye. Well. <laughs> and see. <laughs> that was well done. Wow. Well done, both of us. Wow. This is how Meryl Streep, this is how Viola Davis <laughs> feels. Glenn Close. Elizabeth Berkeley. Wow. We're just uh, playing, uh, or this is, or more like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when he's everyone. You know, more like Eddie Murphy and That's Martin. hard. This, is this how Tyler Perry feels? Yes. This is, this is Tyler. This is high quality Tyler Perry work. Uh, you know what? This show is better than the last five Tyler Perry movies <laughs> or Medea movies. You, you really do need to see uh, Strange Loot because he goes off on Tyler Perry so hard. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I love Medea, uh, but now I can't see another Medea movie no more. Um, it's tired. It's just tired. In this dramatic way. So Stacy's yelling at Florence saying, you're, this yeah, is your fault. It's all your fault, Florian. She, y'all, she's the first. The thing about Stacy is she's the first to throw someone under the bus. She'll oh. do it to Darcy. She'll do it to Florian. Anyone. She's really good at creating a scapegoat. A lot of this is on her and her inaction. I totally agree with you. And Flor Florian looks at her and says, are you speaking English? <laughs> Um, and Florian is not taking it either. Well, Florian doesn't. He says it's not my fault. Georgia doesn't listen to me. Georgia he said, no listen. And he says I trusted him. That was my fault, but nothing else was my fault. Right. Great. Great. So Georgie runs out. He's like, I care about you. I care about you. And he's like, I'm here because I love you. And Darcy's like, I want to surround myself with an empowered guy. Empowered guy. And he says, I love you. You know, I always care. She's like, No, I'm sorry. It's done. It's done. And she and she he, leaves. And he even says in a minivan, I, I love you more. I know you more than anyone else. And Darcy's like, No, you don't. No, you don't. So who knows? She leaves and George is like, Fuck this. Why? My dick is so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> dick is heavy. Dude. And he just beats off right there in the street <laughs> to relieve some pressure. That was that was in the uh, that's what that I was saw. in the, the additional scenes. That's what I wanted yeah. to see. Y'all, that's the show. This oh. was, this will probably go on record as one of my favorite episodes of Darcy and Stacey ever. Full stop. It had so many things. There was not a dull moment. There was not a dull moment. I, I, I had to keep pausing to write and laugh. It's yeah. such a good episode. It's a great episode. Yeah. They had a special on Entertainment Tonight about it. Uh, that, that, like that a clip of the twins in the recording studio. They've made it, y'all. Think about Darcy and Stacy dreaming as little girls, saying, we're going to be on entertainment tonight. <laughs> I love them. And they made it. I used to dream of that when I was a kid. To be, being interviewed by Mary Hart. Lisa Gibbons. Oh, I see. How's that working out? Well, I met Lisa Gibbons, actually. and She was very nice. She's from South Carolina. She, no shit. <laughs> uh, Y'all, <sighs> I didn't even know entertainment tonight still on. I think it is. I, I, I watched online. the other one with Kit and Scott. He's hot. The guy from Extra. What is that Mario called? Lopez. Access Hollywood? Access Hollywood. I just follow him because he's hot. Can we just end the show? That's it, y'all. That's Darcy and Stacy this week. Um, again, we're going to be, uh, we're winding down. This is episode seven. So I think, are they having 10 or 12? I think it's probably 12. Um, so they had 13 last season. I'd but they had a tell-all. Oh, they're going to have a tell-all, and it's going to be good. 
Yeah. So I'm I'm okay with the seasons. Last season dragged a little bit, but I'm okay when they bring in. I want my things. What I want more out of this season is I want. We're going to see the wedding almost certainly. I think it because I think you mentioned it will be in Connecticut. Um, this, it was in People Magazine, so I think we're going to see something of something happen or something happened, and I which if it's in Connecticut, I, I want don't Debbie think and Raina and Daddy think, Silva. Yeah, if it's in Connecticut, I don't think Georgie's going to be there because I don't think Daddy Silva's going to want that to happen. That's true. That's true. But I think the rest of the fam will be there. Um, otherwise, so that'll be fun. That will be fun. I, I also need to see, I need to see a resolution between Darcy and Georgie. It needs to, cause it didn't happen on, on camera last time. I so need to know to. what happened. I need to know why they broke up. I That's hope true. that happens we, in the tell all. We never saw it. Yeah. I don't think we're going to see the resolution on this episode I, or this season. I think maybe in the tell all. I wish Kenny and Armando could host this tell all. Besides, did Sean host the last one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Darcy Sean needs- doesn't. Sean doesn't speak Darcy. No, it's another planet. You need gay it's guys. A, yeah, you need Darcy needs a gay guy to hire us. Him. Fuck Kenny and oh, Armando. God, we love them, but call us. That's. I true. think we just fawn all over them, and we would just do them to. <laughs> or you know, he's not. He's not gay, but Tim, he'd be great. Oh, Dar- uh, Darcy, Darcy. <laughs> all right, everybody. Okay. That's it. We'll see you next week. Until then, y'all, if you, if you, uh, if you want to, if you want to go on a date with a man wearing casual clothes from Banana Republic, but driving a yellow Lamborghini. Guarantee what? that it was $500, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Poodle, if you want to do that, how do you get that? Manifest it. Yeah, manifest, manifest it. Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister that comes between me and my man. 